Hey guys, this is uh, Steel Plates. This is Hard Rock 600. Uh, there's a Hard Rock 600 and 500. 500 is more common. Uh, so this is 600, six millimeter plate. Um, but uh, the thing we, we need to address is anti-spalling coating or, or layers. So we did, uh, we did this uh, homemade sort of coating, which is a uh, six or eight, eight layers of old military surplus blankets. Uh, glued together with the construction foam uh, and yeah this is kind of a homemade solution you can do this uh, on your own because I know I've sold a bunch of plates just uh, without any uh, anti-spalling protection and uh, uh, thousands of people sold uh, tens of thousands of plates without any anti-spalling because uh, time was pressing uh, now we we actually moving forward and we now we did this, this is sort of a homemade solution, so you can do it yourself. Uh, eight layers of old surplus American military blankets, and we will see how it's going to hold up. I'm going to shoot it with the old surplus 762x54R from a machine gun. This is the, most, the biggest and most potent round I got here. This is old military surplus, so most likely, I'm not really sure, but most likely this is uh, armor penetration, uh, armor penetrating round. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, just, just to be clear. I'm gonna show you the round so most knowledgeable, knowledge of ones of you uh, can tell me what I'm actually shooting at that plate. So, all right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna put the plate in that box right here at the end. Just for the record, we've been trying this shit uh, several times uh, until we uh, established this this uh, sort of solution and if you see this uh, that means it worked you don't have to see any anymore it worked uh, otherwise i wouldn't show you and work on something else uh, could you please could you please come come in coming and take this see this all right thank you thank you right here this was here before uh, i'm gonna document things and I've put white cardboard inside, which is clean, no spalling, just for the record. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna, not gonna hit it in the middle. I'm a shitty shot, actually. What I'm gonna be shooting is uh, the most, the hardest and the biggest round I actually got here on this range. This is 762 by 54R. This is all military surplus. I'm not really sure if this is a steel core. I don't think so, uh, but maybe, maybe you can tell me more. Uh, in the back, there's uh, markings. There's a 7-1 and a 7-3. 7-1, 7-3. Jesus Christ, 71, 19 maybe. I don't know what it means. I'm pretty sure some of you will tell me. Well, this is the round. Uh, and I hope the machine gun is actually sighted in. All right. Nothing, it's the left panel, top panel, nothing, right panel, there might be something, I'm not really sure. Yes, there's a, could you, there is a little fragment that went right here and through here. So one fragment to the right upper side. A little fragment to the bottom. And I've hit it, hit it right here. Uh, I have a SS-109s 
for a 5.56, this is armor piercing, this is a military round with a steel core. I'm gonna shoot that to the same plate, which integrity has been compromised with the 762x54R, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Since I got it here, and then we're gonna open it, see what happens. Or actually happened. Now, here's the thing. We are shooting it in the worst case scenario. That means you are getting hit right to the face of the plate. Uh, I don't want to say that usually not the case, but uh, a lot of time doesn't need to be necessarily the case because you are all turning and bending and shit. So it actually goes like skipping off the plate. It doesn't need to be that you're going to get shot right in the face of the plate. So this is the worst case scenario. So, AR-15, 14 and a half inch barrel, SS-109, made by SNB. This is military round. This is armor piercing round. Shit. No additional spalling on the top plate. No additional spalling on the left plate. No additional spalling on the right plate. This is the first one. No additional spalling on the bottom plate. I've hit it right here on the top. You see that? Didn't go through. I want to shoot it some more. I'm just gonna put it. Just gonna put it in. I'm gonna to try to destroy it. All right, let's put five more. Five more rounds of SS109. This is armor-piercing military round with the steel core. 223 and a 545 is uh, ballistically almost identical. All right, five more. Shit. Well, four more. Doesn't seem like any additional spalling on a side. There's nothing. This is the original one from yesterday. Nothing on the top. Nothing really on the right. No. So now, here we go. One, two, three. This is a 762. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna tr let's try to. Fuck. I don't want to open it up. I want to I want to destroy it. I want to destroy the shit out of it. All right, fuck it. Let's open it. Uh, let's put it on the table. You know what? Fuck it. I got a 308. Let's shoot it with the 308. Sorry. I mean, right now, the results are fucking amazing. Interesting part is how many people said it's a giant problem that spalling from a steel plate? Nobody offered a really tangible solution. Everybody was bitching. But there's a will, there's a way. And again, this is a homemade solution that costs you about 20 euros. Maybe, not even. All right, this is a 20, it's gonna be about fucking eight MOAs maybe. Uh, this is a 308. I'm shooting 168 HPBTs from Cellier and Bell, SNBs. This is a, it's a sniper round. I, I'll keep hitting it in a pretty much the same place in the center. So I'm fucking up the 
the anti-spoiling layer. And now, oh yeah, we've got it good on the top. Nothing on the, oh, there it is. There's a stop. On the right. Yeah. On the left. A little bit. And the bottom. It actually, it actually, I, it seems that it opened all the covers, all the coverings, all the, all the layers, and all the previous, previous remains of the bullets actually went, went out with it. So these are the fragments you might be worried about. So jackets. Now, all the fragments from the previous shots were inside the plate. So now when I shot it with the 3.0, it actually pushed all of the fragments out. And uh, this is a nasty, nasty looking thing. Let's open it up. I think I've hit it right in the center of the yellow dot. I don't think it was there. We can, we can check the video. Now, this is a little, little dent. I can feel it. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little dent. And look what's happening here. Now again, this is five rounds of armor piercing 5.4, uh, sorry, 5.56, five, which is ballistically almost identical as a 5.4.5. Five. And uh, first round, was a 7.62 by 54R, which is a machine gun round, the biggest round I got here. Then five rounds of armor piercing 5.56, five, and now one round of uh, sniper round, uh, 168 HP BT from SNB, and that one finally got through. The other ones didn't spoil at all. So this is an amazing result. I'm very happy with this one. This is a homemade solution. There you have a jacket, there's a bullet. This is a 5.56. All right, I'm very happy to announce that I think this homemade anti-spawning layers are really good to go, really good to go. So, uh, yeah, if you want plates, I can provide it to you. The link is uh, below this video. So, yeah, text me, email me, call me, and uh, we can get it to you. I hope, because the prices are insane, this is insanity what's going on. So I hope I can get it to you for a, for a fair price. Uh, I've seen them for 10 times what they should, what they should cost, so. Yeah, thank you, stay safe.